What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God he serves. All right, so we're going to turn it over to um, Brother Carlisle who's going to be the MC for our service. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. We want to welcome you to Carkey Global Inc. Sunday service. We want to welcome everybody that's here. And we're so glad to be in Rochester, New York. Woo! Sparky Global Inc. service. Yes, we mobile. We go and come to you also in various cities. We're so happy to be here in Rochester and on this gorgeous 4th of July weekend. Thank you so much. First of all, we're going to have a welcome. We want to welcome you once, welcome you twice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you all for being here and hope you enjoy the services. We want everybody to be a rich, fresh, and be blessed today, wherever we are. Call somebody out and tell them that you love them today. That you are alive. It's a blessing to be alive today. Be thankful for what you have and what you don't have. But you do have the gift of life. We're going to have a prayer right now. We're going to ask Pastor O.C. Rivers from Rochester, New York, to lead us in prayer. As you come, put your mind on the Lord, because he has done great things. I want to thank everybody for their blessings and their prayers. And think on what God has done for you today in your life. As she comes, just think on great things on the Lord. Pastor O.C. Rivers. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise him again. Praise the Lord. He is so worthy. Yes. We are here today. So many is gone. So many has fallen by the wayside. But we are still here in the presence of God. And truly, we can lift our hands and say, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He is so worthy, church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, in your holy name, we bow before you to say thank you. We bow to lift you up, God, because you are so worthy. We honor you in your presence because we realize today there is no other God like you. And there is no other God besides you that can do the things that you have done for your people. We bless your holy name this day for life, health, strength, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We praise you, hallelujah, for perfect health, peace, and joy, Lord. And we thank you for holding us in our right mind. We thank you for the mind of Christ today. We thank you for our friends you gave us. We thank you for our neighbors you blessed us with. We thank you, Lord, for all your goodness. We thank you for food on our tables, Lord, clothes on our back, shelter over our head, Lord. We praise you today. For being able to walk on this universe, in this universe, and be a part of what you are working about to do. We thank you, God, for all your saving grace and for this service, this day, to be alive, 
one more time, hallelujah, to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. Oh. Oh. We just want to thank Pastor O.C. Rivers for that word, for that strong prayer. And at this time, we're going to have a scripture read of a hundred songs. Miss mm -hmm. Kiba. Rochester, New York. Welcome, Miss Kiba. White. Right. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. First of all, praise him. We just thank him for this day. It's a beautiful day today. And God graced us with these words from Psalms 100, and I'll be reading out of that this afternoon. It says, Shout for the joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is, is, is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all the generations, and we thank you for his promises. We thank you for his word that endures us, and I thank you for this day. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Sister Wright, for that scripture. The hundred songs. The words be a blessing to you, to you, and yours. Right now, we're going to open up the testimony. Everybody should have a testimony. Everybody should be thankful and grateful for God who has done for us. So if He has blessed you and your family, you have a testimony. You may have a testimony from my beautiful mother in law. Have her come up, Evangel Claudia Singletary. Yeah. Welcome her as she, as she comes. Yeah. To making a little more noise. Than this. Come on, make that noise. Yeah. Take, um, I want to sing my one of my favorite songs. Take your God mask is great, and He great and to be praised. Come on, yeah. yeah. I want you to sing me sing, but all we do is follow it. God is great. He's great and to be praised. I know God. Is I know God. Is great. Oh, He's great and to be praised. God is great in my soul. I know God is great. Oh, he's great to be great. I know God is great in my soul. I know God is great. He's great to be great. God is great in my soul. Oh, there are many. God will live in Cannot understand, but the Lord has it. Want us to know that God is great in my soul. I know God is great. Oh, He's great to be great. I know God is great in my soul. I know God is great. He's great to be great. I'm 
family who have uh, loved on me if you take one. Um, 
first meeting. Uh, a great, great person and friend. We all been having uh, ups and downs for uh, trials and tribulations for the past uh, seven months now. Because I mean, this uh, pandemic is, is, uh, has taken a toll on a lot of the people's lives, and. God is moving, he's still moving us in business, you know, and healing. I stand with this to 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 powerful words uh, for my family, especially. I can't speak for no one else, but in my family, my uh, back in uh, October, my sister uh, went into the hospital for for actually a checkup. Found out that she had a max on her brain. Doctor said she had to have emergency surgery. And um, knowing the word of prayer, we prayed on it. Because uh, we have our own anointing spirits. If you follow on the, on the deacons and pastors, they're not available. We had a power and that wisdom in the spirit to touch your own family members. You know, and pray the prayer of faith and uh, always have some oil. Uh, uh, last war, you know, you have the pastors and the bishops, those are the ones who call on, you know, and send up uh, a word of prayer. And, and during that time, uh, she had uh, went to the hospital and had had an operation. Then she walked in the hospital and I said, well, you're going to have surgery right away. She walked out of the hospital. No mask, no problem. It was just like nothing happened. And, and you have a mask on your brain. I mean, anything could happen, you know, and you don't know if you're going to be a vegetable. You don't know what's going to happen. That was one blessing. And um, then Christmas Eve, my youngest brother, uh, Esther, he was helped walking down the street not far from his house. And I didn't want to buy a and fell in the street. Didn't get up. Traffic was coming, you know. Uh, there was a passerby that stopped. So the officer could shield, shield them, you know, from traffic. So he, he bent down to find out what the guy's problem and to help him get up. So he had called 911. As soon as he had called 911, somebody was speeding. Didn't know what was going on. Went around the car that was, that was, and then hit my brother and the gentleman that was on the ground, that was on the bicycle. The gentleman on the ground, he died. Drugged my brother uh, a few feet, and he was a critical condition. Went to the hospital, was all over the news, nationwide. I mean, it, it made news everywhere. Um, ended up having an operation. Just, my brother, the musician, played the keyboard, piano for several churches and groups. And his left leg, broken left leg, uh, his hip, his back, pelvis. He had to have operations, five operations. His right foot was broken in two places. He had the car tire, I mean, the SUV van tire mark on his back, scratches on his head, everything. God is a healer, and he's a miracle worker. And to, to know all this happened, and the gentleman that was on the ground died, and my brother lived. My brother stayed in the hospital for five months. He had to have, um, had to go to rehab the last month. I mean, he had to have help to move 
move them in the bed, they turn them over, you take it out of the bed, get the tractions, leg up, all, all kinds of tractions, um, feet up. Every time he had to, every month he had a different operation. So fine. My brother went to rehab. My brother's walking. My brother's walking now. He just he just went home uh, in, in in May, so I hadn't seen him during this course of time. But my sisters and all was keeping me abreast of what was going on, and we did you know, visual contact. You know, thanks for for the internet and cell phones and you know all that that you see you know, what's going on, and and so it was nothing I could do by going because he was able to already pray, prayed the prayer of faith. You know, and I knew we claimed we claimed the victim. And then we hear about our father in law, my father in law. And we wanted to to find out and pray that things was all right with him when he took his steps. Praise God, he's with us today. He is with us today, and we are walking miracles. God is still, I mean, doing miracles yes, in everybody's lives. You may not know what's, you don't know if he's going to the store or walking or whatever, what's going on with the next person in mind, because it's crazy out here. People are doing just crazy things, you know, whether it's driving, whether it's walking, whether you, you can't even go in the Walmart without people starting things. and. You never know what's going to happen, you know. But uh, we, we just want to get that testimony. And um, then uh, we're going to bring up Pastor Osi again for a couple of words to a testimony at this time. Yes. Praise the Lord again, church. Praise Y'all have to forgive me, but I, I tried to sit there and not tell it. And everything in me started moving, saying you got to move. So I'm moving according to the word of God today because God has truly been good to yes. me. I tried to set it out until Jason and his son God said you plant seeds yes. and you will reap a harvest. I'm 82 years old today. Praise I'm God. looking at a harvest that God gave me. God. I can't stand on it because I can't put y'all back where you came from. And if I could, I wouldn't dare. I want God, the saints of God, to know, and my family to know why I'm yet here, is that you all are still a seed under me. And each day I look at my family growing and Different ones, grandkids having babies, getting fathers and mothers of babies and whatever. I know that's the growth from God. Yes. That's the increase. And I tell you all today, stand forward. Stand forward, Jason, for your little son. Yes. Stand up. Be that seed for him one day because if you keep going and he keep living, you will be able to look at him standing before you to tell of God's goodness where he brought you all from. I thank God today for, I can't put it in words, but Kiki over there, I see the movement of God, and when God moves, he moves. And when God bless you, no man can curse you. I see the blessings of God here today. Look at my son-in-law and how the devil tried to take him out. I said, uh-uh, you can't give up. Say when you can't have him, you might as well get back. Let God do his work. He's sitting there today, isn't he? He even walked around. He came around here walking. That's a blessing. Emma left me for a while. God brought her back. I pray. I couldn't stop praying. I got to tell you, I couldn't stop praying for God to bring back where she was supposed to be at. Because when God do something, it's God. She came back, and she came back full speed, open, willing, whatever. She said, "I'm here." God brought me back, and I ain't going away. That's a seed. God, when you plant a seed, if you put that seed in the ground, 
It's the grief you have. I thank God for me. I'm going to call her my sister for the first time today because she didn't have to be here. I had a seat over here for her to reach out to her, for them to love and for them and get together and do all our work that y'all have a good time together. Keep, keep living, them. just keep living and keep going on praising God. She never looked back. My testimony is basically find some living to stand and tell y'all. Don't let nothing. Now, look at how it comes, look at how it seems. Don't let nothing make you look back. Look press forward and look forward and live forward. And all of us is in here. Let's just live. This life is sweet. You know, if you live on this earth, I, I was there trying to open the book to tell y'all what I've like been through. Y'all need to be open the land on the ground. But I think it's a good thing. And I thank God for my new husband. He's still going to be a baby. This month, he's still working, he's still in pretty good health, and I think of him as being a good to me. He could make him make with his own service. So, God bless you all. God bless all of us. Amen. 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 Amen.
So uh, we know that Charles is that he lived in the Rackle and one of the things that I would often have to be most people over there, no matter what privilege is, and how to be there in the Rackle and they would be there. Um, one of the things that I can most and if the team now is looking at the lives that you don't know, we know how to right? And we know the God as well, and we can see the sun to be higher, we can fall out, and we can see the sun to be higher, so we see the kids, we see the Bible, we see the thing that we can see the heart, and so we see a relationship with him. God is going to be lonely, and we get better to be the best. Everybody's right here. Open your mouth. Use what you have. Right? And 
and God told me to open your mouth, I am going to speak. So God told us to do it myself, drink off to other humans, but God didn't talk to us. That's how can you do Like I said, he needs to put stuff. He needs some real men and women who are going to be so down. So that's what Jesus rest in his hand. So it's a character that we look no further for tools or resources in order to get this. Guys, it's 21. Like, like I said every week, you're going to say, what's going to come? Lord's going to come? Lord's going to come? We ain't came yet. And so that we can be ready. God does not desire to have any of us lost, right? Eternity is a long time to be burning and burning and burning. He don't want anybody to be lost. He's, he's tearing so we can be in place, okay? So God has called us to use what we have. Line up or ask him, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? What's in your eye? What's in your heart? What's in your feet? God gives you gifts and talents to build the king. Now, being especially individual, those things come out and you've seen lots of them, of course, in the natural. But God gives you things that he wants you to do to make this for a better place for him, okay? Some of us have delayed screens sort of. It's like, oh, too late. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. Well, I used to want, oh, well. Okay? And, my God, God is going to release unto you the supernatural. Because the gifts and calling we know are without the gifts. But God is is giving grace and a supernatural blessing upon you. But he needs you to use what you have. This message is saying no more excuses. Okay, I can't wait to build up this amount of money, or this amount of blocks, or this amount of this. These things are no longer useful as excuses. Okay. God is going to finish the year and the calling. My grandmother just stood here and said she's 80 years old. That's a blessing. What can do? Whatever she wants to do, like strong, healthy. God said, even with age, God is going to restore and finish the people. And this is not me talking. This is God talking for his people today. God is going to establish you and give you a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing, like like brand new. And if anybody's ever gotten to the point where they fully and totally sold out for themselves, it's a it's a clean thing, it's a happy thing. It's, wow, God, you know, you feel lifted. And then as we go through it in life, success, you just start saying, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" But God is going to restore to you. Okay, to establish you. And this anointing is happening this season. This season, this now, this now. I'm not talking about a moment, I'm talking about right now. Okay, I can use what you have. Your time is now. You have to use now. So, how does he the one you think so then? We got to take the fact that faith is something that you can't hands on, it's not taking to Right? So we have an assurance and understanding who Jesus Christ is. He's going to give us a good thing. Ears of him. He's going to use your mouth to speak. Hallelujah. Have the faith to believe that God is with you yet. The enemy is like, you know that was your order. Look at what you think. Remember what you say. You, you cause it. The enemy will bring Bring up all of your past to turn around and make it like it's right now. So while uh, this is going on at the beginning, but we have to give ourselves, right? So God is telling you, you know, He has put a freshness in you and He's renewed you this month. Hallelujah. You have to understand that my finish with you. I think I try to like tell the long testimony, but God has become super. For, for healing, it's hard healing. And so, 
even with the We go to despair. We go to despair. 
happy. We don't even want to try because we every time I put the like they get at the water, every time I try to get into the bathroom, somebody had to be so I feel like I will try it wrong. And I think it's my turn, I just zigzag up and then he grab God is telling you because of this, he's really he's removing all of the feet in the air. He's, he's canceling your allegiance to the pain that you've been through. He's canceling your allegiance to the hair that you've been through. Some of us have been like, so long, that's the only way you don't even really like to be really happy anymore because I feel like something's going to happen to God is canceling that feeling and need to be low and high. That's what he's put pressure and stuff in your mind. But you know, being in these circles, talking about this time, you hear it in this. Right? You're like, oh, what's up? Oh, God, I don't know. It's so much. The Lord is canceling because we give him what we have. Because we don't understand the fact that he gave us all we really got. And we're willing and willing in his circle. And then you will have to do like our feet. Then you will have to do like our feet. Then you will have to do like our feet. Then you will have to do like our feet. Because of this, I say, I am putting depression in the life. Yet, some of my own are perfect. I this moment where you can be free of depression. It's not meant to be in this. It's in your life. You live, you live for it. You go through stuff, you have an experience of your own. The brokenness of the kids are still like this one. Why do they come for what this means? Because said, I'm missing it. And he's free, new bread. When God does anything new, it might look like a lamb, yes, I see. But you gotta change, you gotta change for what has to happen. We can make it see what it is. So as we're walking, God said he told me and I told you, I told you, I told you, for a mission. He wants you to feel like in my book, you don't feel that a beard of the person that helps you be the best belief. God has told you in the peace of my believers. So you need a lot to heal in these places. And this is it. Walking up the 
I've been baptized. I have repented. I have the Holy Ghost. Guess what? I'm in my word. I've got a fat life. I've got to die. Do not go have a big celebration and I have back to the home. Every day I got to work on this thing, right? In your relationship, you won't have to work on it. Okay, so you gotta work on it. Stop praying, stop fast. And guess what? We gotta be connected with the church that believes in. We gotta be somewhere that somebody is preaching holiness ahead. Because we do not stop it tonight. Ain't no time to run and find a wall and talk to this church and get it. Ain't no time when he says, Come, my people. And I don't care if somebody's asleep in the dungeon or here. Get it, come, my people. So every I will see him, every Every year, okay. and we want to make sure when he's taking all the opportunities, all of us live, that we hear him say, Well done. I don't care if it's all the past, the past, and the act of the world, as long as my cat and father says, Well done. And that's who we want to be, and because we are running ourselves up, God has positioned us for grace. So without any further ado, I'm going to move on. I thank you, and God bless you. I'll see you on the to service. Yes, sir. Elder Sylvester Swinger. Come on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited to be on this day. The God of who God is, and whom I'm here, belongs to him. He's a of the the I didn't know I was going to say anything about that week has happened to me because there's two of them. And once you tell it, the fist, the fist it has to be correct because of the medical element that we thought. But the people going in here, see the nurses are here, all that can tell the people that are going to be about what happened. They go to the stranger. I gotta be able to say that I'm a stranger who might not understand, be able to understand what happened. So I don't understand. I've been told me the parts what happened to me. And I've been sitting in those different parts of the whole thing, and they told everything that I told me. About them to be to be able to tell what happened. We give them a lot of goodness and the mercy, praise of God that comes into our lives and do all things. The promises is Lord make me go even to the end of the age. He gave me promises, and his promises have been one hundred percent. I don't do lie on my. April the 28th in this house. And as a fact, many have happened that same day in the weeks to come. But I do this. God is faithful. Once he's still promising, it is what it is. And he has given us power. It's when we uh, walk before him. There is that he calls us to that is a search. Then you think you have eternal life, you have that testify of me, says the Lord. But we have our own ideas about things in this life. I do know that uh well, situations like that were pretty clear to me. I could talk about it. But there was no witnesses other than they were speaking to me in those instances about being dead. Twice he spoke to me. First, he called my name. 
checking he told me that I'm okay and I said that I was he said that you are I said no, I'm not I'm sick when I was a kid I had a bad dream I could wake up because I knew I was asleep and I could always have lost in the bed to see you wake up in the morning and it's business as you a lot of things that happen to us you don't wreck out God young one Cause you to think we don't want that people in our life that are not uh, going to be uh, to the Lord that did not all kinds of things in the life that's not hope. But that people in that thing that is there is steal, can become the steal to kill and to destroy. So we fight against the first of the thousands of the earth. Be able to stand there, it's all those things that are destroyed. I hope I'm not getting bored because I'm not standing here. I want to say, I want to fall to death. But, uh, listen, God has been good to me. 